from 2010 to 2019, annual death rates in England and Wales oscillated between 484,000 and 542,000. In 2020, there were 607,000 deaths, 65,000 more than the maximum in 2018. In 2021, there were 586,000, which is 44,000 more than the 2018 figure. After such a rise, there should be a deficit, a significant deficit. In fact, because sadly, our most vulnerable and elderly, who might have lived a while longer, were taken from us early. Mm -hmm. But in 2022, there were 577,000 deaths in England and Wales, and in 2023, 581,000. A huge rise when, in fact, a significant de deficit would and should be expected. The deficit, and then some, has been filled not with the extremely old and the extremely vulnerable, but with others, many, many others, who were often young or in the prime of their lives. You might want to ascribe the excess deaths in 2022 and 2023 to the virus, but that would be a mistake. That's not what their death certificates say, and moreover, there are far too many young people dying. Far from being below the recent polling, uh, rolling average, excess deaths in 2022 have been above. 6% above, in fact. In 2023, when one might expect deaths to finally fall below the average, the excess has also been 6% above. These numbers are higher in the younger age groups. No one with integrity can fail to be troubled by these figures. What actually is going on?